Hello there. I've been asked about the Incredibo, which some of you may have noticed me playing in a couple of my videos. I bought this particular bow in 2005, so it's certainly lasted a long time. It's never lost a hair in all that time, and it's incredibly strong. There's no doubt about that. It's a very, very strong bow, but it is quite unconventional, as you may be able to see from the shape. The curve of the bow goes the opposite way to what you would normally expect. Uh, I believe the, car the bow stick is made from carbon fibre and the hair is not horse hair, in fact it's uh, man-made hair um, which is some sort of polymer filament. So it seems to be incredibly strong, there's no doubt about that. It's not too badly balanced. I've never found it uncomfortable, uncomfortable to play. Um, it's slightly heavier perhaps than, than some of my lightest bows, but this particular bow <coughs> um, I bought as a medium bow. And I believe that uh, Incredibo make a, a featherweight bow, which is perhaps preferable um, which I might have bought in hindsight, but this has been fine because I'm, I'm quite a heavy player and I tend to push the bow quite heavily when I'm playing fiddle tunes, so it's not a problem for me. But if you are a very light player, maybe the featherweight version would be more suitable. As I mentioned already, it's definitely unconventional. It's not the same as playing a normal bow. But the sound is not bad. So it kind of plays well. <clears throat> um, it definitely plays very well on electric violins and on acoustic not too badly. Um, I, I compare it in some ways to um, a viola bow, which I have here. That's my viola bow, and that sort of feels, in a way, somewhat similar. It sort of feels the same kind of uh, weight and everything. So, for me, the... The good thing about the Incredibo is it seems to be um, very strong. It's never lost a hair and I can't say the same for other bows that I possess which have lost a great many hairs. I've taken this bow out with me on gigs and sort of used it maybe a third of the time. Sometimes it's quite nice to play a slower melody with the Incredibo because it seems to grip the, the strings quite well. It has a slightly bright sound to it, slightly brighter than horsehair. Um, but I find the same sort of thing when I use another carbon fibre bow using a traditional shape. So that could be something to do with the actual material that the stick is made from. Um, perhaps the way the vibrations travel through the stick affect the sound in some way. But it's, it's certainly not unpleasant. It's, as I say, it's not an unpleasant bow. This one cost me about £85, I think, all those years ago, so it was quite an expensive bow. I noticed, looking at the website, that the, um, the price of these bows has not really gone up a great deal. I think they're about something like $125 and upwards, so, which I guess would equate to about 
70, 80 pounds in, in UK sterling. So not bad, not bad value for money really. Um, so my impressions of the Incredibo, well, it's just that. It was originally designed for playing, for saw players, people playing the saw, and obviously it, that's where I guess the shape comes from. Um, the interesting thing is, it has a lot of bounce. to grip and this bow has never been rehaired it's never required any maintenance I just put it back on the rack occasionally put some rosin onto the hair and that's it really so it's it's not bad it's not a bad bow for, bow for the money I do use it occasionally I find on certain tunes it, it's just the right bow to have I have a number of different bows None of them are very expensive, most of them have been bought from eBay. But this one is a handy one to have in the arsenal because just occasionally you think, oh yes, I think this tune might suit the Incredibo. And that's when I get it down from the rack and use that for that particular tune. And as I say, I've used it on gigs. Now that's one good thing when you're out on a gig and you've perhaps got a pint of beer while you're, while you're on the gig and you may be maybe there are cables all over the place and things this is quite a tough bow to take out with you and it, it doesn't seem to get damaged at all so that's an advantage um, well there we go that's my um, summary of, of the Incredibo um, there does seem to be a website so that's useful if you, you want to look into that but there we go thanks for watching I hope that was useful any further questions, let me know. If I get chance, I'll use this on, a, on an electric fiddle as well, so you can hear how it definitely seems to be suited. Oh, one other thing I, know, I remember. <clears throat> I met a guy at a fiddle meet, a whole group of fiddle players getting together locally, and um, he'd actually managed to get... This Incredi hair, I think they call it the Incredi bow hair, he'd managed to get one of his bows rehaired with this material. And he was delighted because he felt he had the best of both worlds. He had the, um, the really, really good, strong uh, man made f uh, hair in, the, in his original bow. So that seemed to be quite, um, quite a good um, idea really. And I had a go and I must admit I was very impressed. So I do believe that some of the violin um, shops do actually uh, offer that. I know there's certainly one I think in North Wales uh, that, or, or certainly in Wales in the UK that does offer that facility. So there you are, there's another option for you. But this video has been requested and I'm, I'm not being um, paid by anyone for this. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. Not a bad bow. Um, it's one to have when you occasionally want to use it. Um, it's not my first choice every time, but I have used it quite a lot and I've used it on a lot of gigs. And um, yeah, not bad value for money really. Okay, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye for now.